actually do know my worth. It's just that sometimes I get bored. Like, having self-respect for yourself, it's not always just peaceful. Like, it is boring. Let's talk about it. Let's actually talk about it because it is boring. So sometimes I just do things for character development. It's not because I don't have self-respect. I just get bored. <sighs> no. I don't think she really understands what self-respect is because she is contradicting everything that she's saying. You can't have self-respect and go for guys that don't respect you, do things that isn't respectful or just cause problems so you can fix them again because you're bored you see a person with self-respect they think higher than that of themselves they think more of themselves they have so much respect for themselves they don't even want to entertain that thought that's not even a thought pattern that goes through their mind so she's just straight up delusional to think that she has any ounce of self-respect and this is what she enjoys doing and in translation, she's really saying that she enjoys Chad and Tyrone, the non-committers, the bad boys, the pookies and rayways, the guys who are reckless for character development. So basically when she breaks down again or she gets a bit hurt or someone goes to her no one to be committed to her that gives her a reason to add more character to herself that gives her a reason to build herself up it's fun it's it gives her some adrenaline so she's basically explaining the reason why she goes for these certain type of guys who may not always be smart or who may not always be ready for commitment they're just fun and vibes and probably have loads of red flags but she's trying to let her audience know that the reason why she picks certain guys that don't get nowhere is not because she doesn't have self-respect she's trying to save face so in her head it makes sense because she knows she's doing it by purpose she thinks because she's choosing this she still has self-respect, but she thinks she can choose when she wants to respect herself and when she don't want to respect herself. Modern females always think they are in control. We see you are in control, but you need to understand things that you do, they have a lasting effect, not only to you, but even to your brain, even to how your life is going to turn out. Whatever you do, it's either going to come back and help uplift you or pull you down and that comes back down to the self-respect you have so in her mind because she's picking who she wants to do what with and when she wants to do it with she can be able to control when she has self-respect but she doesn't understand is choosing self-respect is not choosing when to not respect yourself it's weird i don't know how she even made logic out of this nonsense having to break it down just makes it more clear how absurd this is how stupid it is to actually think like this but a lot of young females they do think like this they think that they can be able to pick up whatever they broke in and they'll come back the same it doesn't work like that it's like a mirror once it breaks you ain't, it ain't gonna come back the same and that's what these modern females do to themselves. They break themselves thinking that they can just build themselves up again. And they just do it because they're bored. They do it because they think it's going to build them character. But that's not character. Because a person with character, the only time they're going to want to break is for something that means something. For something that actually is worthwhile. For something that's actually going to take them somewhere. Not to Pookie and Ray Ray. Who's just gonna treat you like trash? I'm not naive, I'm not gullible, I'm not stupid. I'm just young. And it's way more fun to just be delusional with a man that you know you're not gonna speak to. You see, that is naive and that is very dumb. 
because why would you spend your valuable time in your prime years with a ninja you ain't gonna speak to why would you do that to yourself because it's fun there actually is no reason for it but because it's fun that's how dumb that is you see modern females like her they don't actually value their time because they think their time will last forever because they're young they think because they're young they are allowed to do these things yes you are allowed to do it do as you will but you can't turn back the hands of time that's why at some point it can't always be about fun because that's when you're gonna really do damage you can't do things just for fun at some point it needs to be some meaning in your life so a lot of these young females like her they really live meaningless lives they really do it it doesn't really matter to them what they do because in that moment they're having a good time with whoever they're having it with and this is her way of talking herself into it by telling herself that I ain't stupid I ain't gullible I picked to do this I picked the guy who I do it with and we have an amazing time because I like the D so much and I'm too young to worry about anything else but that is dumb and it's very naive it's very very naive because we are seeing it all the time example like black china we are seeing britney renner that every time they hit a certain age that's when they want to rebrand themselves that's when they want to become more of a woman but they can't because the damage is done and it's naive of her to think she ain't doing damage because she's young that's when you're doing the most damage by the time you get older who you chose to be when you was young is who you're gonna be when you're an adult and that's why she's very naive because she really thinks that young is not gonna be a lifetime experience it's not gonna be concrete it's gonna be it's just gonna dissolve into nothing and you can just move on from it but every time she makes these choices it's actually developing her by the time you're 25 26 your brain becomes fully developed so this is what she's developing in her brain every time she's chilling with a f boy chilling with a pukin ray for just fun she's not learning no skills she's not actually building on herself she's not becoming a woman she's actually reducing the chances of pair bonding so many things are happening and her brain is actually just developing that f shit that's all that is doing excuse my language but you need to understand like this is how they just stay a certain way and they can't seem to come out any better or they can't seem to take accountability because their brain has used whatever they took as resources this is what she's taken for her resources and gave her brain to develop that so whatever she gave her brain to develop that's who she's gonna be and it's naive of her to not see that and very gullible gullible to actually believe that none of this is gonna affect you in the future that's very gullible it's very gullible to actually believe that you can do anything and have everything and your young years is for you to do whatever you want to do and there ain't gonna be no consequences to it that's very gullible you you easily believe anything you easily believe feminism you easily believe that you can just become and be whatever you choose to be without no consequences so she is very dumb naive and gullible and the worst part is she don't even believe it so somebody once told me the quickest way to get over a man is to keep going back to that man and let me tell y'all 
That is one statement that is the truth. But it's honestly sad because it took me four years to get tired. That's the problem. So honestly, if you want to get over somebody, just get over them. If they're not doing right, just go. Just go. I promise you. Another reason why women like drugs. Because it's not that she actually thought it was a good idea. Because they, yes, you, you must like a lot of intelligence to, to do this. But that's not the reason why she did it. She wanted to. We just have to keep it plain and simple. She wanted to go back to that guy. And she tried going back to him because she wanted him to commit to her, take her serious, whatever she wanted from him. She tried for four years. She didn't try to get over him. She tried to get him for those four years. And that D kept getting her right back in that loop. That's why towards the end, she just said, you know what? Just, if he ain't doing what he's supposed to do, or he ain't doing what he, he you want him to do, then just get over him. So you did somebody else's advice just to find out you're going to do something else, or you're going to tell other people to do something else. And that's where a lack of accountability really stems from. A lot of times, young modern females, they can't actually be honest with themselves because they need a reason to go back. And that was her reason. Every time she wanted to see that guy, be with that guy, take D from that guy, even though he had loads of red flags and he was just your pookie, your Ray Ray, your Tyrone, she told herself, you know what? The best way for me to get over him is to go back and see him. And she wasted four years telling herself this because she wanted to see that guy. In translation, I wanted to see him. I didn't want to spend no time with anybody else but him. And nobody was ever going to tell me otherwise. So the best advice she got was actually her best excuse to herself. To do what she's doing but because she got nothing out of it she ain't gonna make herself feel bad or worse because she's a bad b she needs to pick herself up again and realize that he ain't worth nothing and that she's a prize so taking no accountability once again and just keeping it moving and wasting more of your prime years for jerks or for what nothing it's interesting to see all these reasons why modern females like going back to the pookies and ray rays and the chad and tyrones but you know what's even more interesting how they're not even good enough reasons they're just excuses that really mean nothing so why do women pick jerks or like being with jerks because they just want to but really what they're saying is they like the d but they gotta say it in loads of different other ways thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye